not pretty much we know is quality is but today I impressed you again I mean there was some uh, real sprinters there it was not that uphill and yet you get the speed for that yes but he uh, he did before I reckon uh, some weeks ago so he know uh, this finish very well and uh, for him the most important was to, to start in the beginning of the climb in front so the guys did a really good job to help him there and uh, he wasn't when I saw him in position uh, going into the climb then I knew he would be really motivated because his wife was also looking with his child today so then I know he must well wants to do something extra and uh, he did you're impressed by his shape at this time of the year I mean we are really early in a year in a season he had COVID so he had also to recover from that and yet he is a he's the best one here yeah but uh, Almost everywhere where Primus is riding, he is in a great shape. So uh, yeah, I, I never saw him in a bad shape. So uh, yeah, and he was motivated for this week. So uh, he proved that already. The two uh, important days to come up, but uh, looks really good for us. And tell us how the change of parkour, of course, for the two next days affect the race for the GC. Well, I think not so much. I think uh, it stays the same uh, as the final climb uh, for tomorrow, which uh, will make the difference, and that's the same. And the uh, last day is uh, yeah, also a bit uh, less long, but uh, I think not so much uh, influence. Not so much influence, but the last day is a lot less hard than, than what it would have been. I mean, that, that will put the race down to the last climb of tomorrow, you think, or will be decided tomorrow evening? Yeah, you see, uh, maybe that's this, that's true, but uh, we saw in the most uh, easy stage uh, Primoz crash. So uh, it's always tricky in Paris-Nice to, to stay uh, focused and uh, that, that we need to do. And we need also a bit of luck, of course. And uh, of course, tomorrow uh, the final climb will be decisive. Thank you very much. Cheers.